Hello everyone, I'm the Maximum Guitarist, and this is Let's Play Saga. Last time we completed Zone 2 with Arya, now we're going to move on to Zone 1, which is the last zone for Arya, and we'll conclude the story of Crypt of the Necrodancer. And uh, probably after this episode, I'm going to be taking a break for a while, because as of the recording of this video right now, Halo 5 is going to be coming out in a few hours, and I'm most likely going to uh, be playing that and not worrying about Crypt of the Necrodancer until I'm done with Halo 5, because um, it probably won't be too difficult. I can't imagine it being very hard. So I will be taking a break from Necrodancer, uh, but it most likely will return eventually. It may take some time, because after we beat this, the rest of the stuff in the game is just brutally difficult and nearly impossible. And I will attempt to do it, but assuming that I can complete it, I will uh, upload videos of this game in the future, but it may be quite a while. So this will be the last episode and then I, this game will go on break for quite some time, most likely. So I haven't played in a couple days, because uh, I've been kind of being a doof and neglecting my recording responsibilities, because I've been really busy with school, and also with my free time, I've been watching lots of Let's Plays of a game called Undertale, which I uh, am thoroughly enjoying quite a bit. Uh, I didn't want to buy it myself, because uh, I just convinced my parents to grab me Halo 5, because... I don't really have an allowance that I can spend anything on. You, you guys know how it is. You guys, if you guys, uh, you know, live with parents and have to ask for games, you know how it is. So I've been watching that and instead of recording this, and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. But this game, I just I have to say, this game so far, uh, I mean, I've been playing it for quite a while, and I really like this game. This game is absolutely fantastic. The music is unbelievable. The characters are great. The gameplay is awesome. There's almost there are like no bugs at all. And it's, 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 it's great. So, let's go ahead and uh, finish up Necrodancer before the break. It will return, though. Remember, it will return. All right, without further ado, enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead and start Zone 1. All right, here we go. Whoops, didn't even, but whatever, okay, uh, it's just, it's one run, we made it to level two, that's pretty good, alright, let's keep going.
Good enough, man. Hey, yeah, that's not good. Dang it! Shadows. Oh god, I've never fought this before. And I have the Ring of Shadows. Did I mention that? Hello. Oh god. Oh, and there I go. Yeah, I couldn't see anything, but that's the golden loot. At least I made it there. I, sh I, I picked up the ring of shadows and it screwed me. Okay. What well, golden loot is now available to practice? Okay. I don't need it. I don't think. No. Mm, you. I should have used my holy water or my shield or something. I panicked. Okay. Ugh. Die on that one. The wind spell killed me. No! Pulled me into that stupid mushroom. Oops! I accidentally pressed down. I tried to press up, but I panicked. Ah! I had three damage too. Oh! Nothing I could have done. I don't think yet. There's nothing. I screwed myself up. <sighs> okay. That sucks. Oh, uh, well, I hit it once. I don't know how I deal with that. Okay, so I see it. When I hit it, it moves. It moves uh, every two beats, but once I hit it, it moves every beat, so I need to back away from it. Uh, or reset myself, so I hit it, and then I bounce off the pad, and then go after it. Okay. Well, now we need to get back there, though, which is the annoying part. Well, I missed the beat. Oops. That sucks, because I was doing good. That sucks, I was completely trapped. Well, nothing like being totally stuck. I hate that so much! Ah, oh, it's not fair. Yes. Okay. What? 
Oh, because I have to... Ugh. Never mind. Just... Ugh. Oh, wow, great. Uh, why did I do that? Why the hell would I do that? Deal with that. It doesn't. <laughs> wow, that helped so much. Wow. Thanks.
Done. Finally, I've made amends. Everything comes to an end. Well, apparently, she's dead. But for you and your family, not today. Not today, guys. Okay, that just kind of upsets me. The whole idea that, I mean, like, Arya dies after she sacrifices herself to destroy the loot, right? But how does that even make any sense? How are, like, you can see that Cadence and Melody and uh, Dorian are all alive at the end, but they were, like, I thought they were all dead, right? I thought they were all dead and that the loot was keeping them alive, but how come when the loot got destroyed, they get got to live and... It just doesn't make any sense at all. I am extremely confused. Anyway, uh, that is the end of the story of Crypt of the Necrodancer, and uh, we are it's gonna be a while. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna take a break. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Halo 5, so if you are into Halo or you just enjoy watching me play video games, make sure to tune into that. Probably tomorrow will be the first episode. Um, and there we go, that is the end of the story of Crypt of the Necrodancer. It will return eventually, it may be a while, but eventually Crypt of the Necrodancer will return and we will finish. But it's going to be quite a while, there's going to be quite a long break. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer up until this point, and it will return soon. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Right? Is that, did I say that right? Yeah, whatever. You know, you know what I mean, in the next one, the next one meaning uh, a while down, not in the next... I mean, maybe if you, uh, you know, watch Halo 5. I, I'm not, you just watch whatever video of mine you want, and I'll see you in whatever video you choose to watch of mine next. All right, I'll see you then. Bye!